In an unusually early start to the day for us, we received a call from a guy who'd been out trying to photograph the sunrise on Kinder, and that day it did turn out to be an absolutely beautiful sunrise. Uh, unfortunately, he'd been walking around and he'd managed to slip and turn his ankle. Um, he thought it might be broken, so he put in a call to 999 and asked for Mountain Rescue's assistance. We went out to help. Um, from my point of view, I was working in control that day, helping to run the job. So Dr. Ollie takes up the story and he'll tell it from here. It's eight o'clock in the morning on the Saturday before Christmas 2021. And Kinder Mountain Rescue Team have been called out to assist a male with a lower leg injury on the top of Kinder Scout. We're in the second group going up onto the top. The group ahead of us haven't got to the casualty yet, but we know that helicopter support is unavailable. So we're carrying up all our heavy equipment, stretches and splints, and it's all quite heavy, as you'll be able to tell by my breathing. So those of you who know Kinder Scout will know that this is Sandy Hayes at the bottom of William Clough, the footbridge. We've now got quite a steep walk, so we're just gathering ourselves, gathering our breath for a moment before tackling the hill. We've heard that our first hill party have reached the casualty site. They haven't, oh, they're in the process of assessing the patient at the moment, and hopefully we'll hear more soon. And fingers crossed it's nothing more serious than a lower leg injury. So we're halfway up uh, Sandy Hayes, just stopping for a breather and get rid of a few layers. It's getting increasingly warm the further we get with the heavy gear. Um, we've heard from our casualty site that our casualty, casualty does seem to have uh, a leg injury and nothing else, which is good news for him and good news for us. Um, as a result, we're expecting to, in the, with a the lack of helicopters we're expecting to have to carry him off on a stretcher so that's going to take us from the position he's in that's going to take us quite a while where the team that are up with him will be working out the best route to evacuate at the moment uh, in the meantime we're a little bit low on numbers today it takes eight of us to carry a stretcher at one time and we've probably not got quite enough to have two stretcher parties we've got about 15, 14 or 15 uh, team members out on the hill at the moment. So we've asked for help from our sister team in Glossop, who were uh, and Glossop team leader and a group of Glossop members are making their way up onto the top of Kinder from Tunnel. So hopefully by the time we get there, uh, they'll be almost with us as well. Glossop are usually fairly fast. So uh, they'll help us with the stretcher carry off. So uh, we're now on the top of Kinder Scout. We're just walking towards the downfall from uh, the top of Sandy Hayes. Uh, it's a bit easier terrain now, which is nice. And our colleagues from Glossop met us at the top of Sandy Hayes and took some of their heavy gear from us, which is really nice of them. Bye. 
So we've now got the casualty on the stretcher, as you can see. Uh, the Glossop team have joined us. So we've got quite a few Hill Party members now, which is great because we've got quite a, a long uh, carry down to uh, the Glossop Road at Tunnel. Um, we're putting, currently putting the wheel on the stretcher. The casualty is quite comfortable, having had some pain relief. And he's nice and warm now in one of our sleeping bags. So warm and comfortable. He's been reassured. He's, he's very grateful to, to have seen us, I think. Uh, thankful, we're still very grateful that the weather is just spectacular up here this morning. Um, and we uh, hopefully will get down at least the majority of the way before any of those clouds down in the valley reaches. So we've now um, moved from the top of the plateau, top of the Ashapen area of Kinder. I've come ahead with a couple of colleagues from the team. We're ahead of the stretcher party now because we're going to need to set up a safety rope to uh, allow us to get the casualty on the stretcher down this steep part of the of the edge. Uh, you'll notice that we're uh, entering the fog now. It's suddenly got quite a bit colder, uh, but hopefully uh, we can stay out of the worst of the fog for the rest of the descent. So the casualty is now, as you can see, on the paved path to Mill Hill. We've got the stretcher wheel in position, which makes the ride more comfortable for the casualty and also for those carrying the stretcher or guiding the stretcher. It takes a lot of the weight off the backs of the stretcher party and makes hopefully what we do a bit more sustainable. We've probably got about an hour's walk down here uh, to uh, Tunnel uh, on the Glossop Road from Hayfield uh, where a road ambulance has been dispatched to meet us. So we're now back at the roadhead. Uh, you can see the ambulance behind me. The casualty's now been loaded up into the ambulance. We've had to stop the traffic temporarily uh, with our Land Rovers just to allow time for us to get the uh, casualty safely packaged. You can see that we've got the vehicles from Glossop team and Kinder team on scene now. And there's quite a lot of us around actually. We ended up with a, a good number of us on the hill. So the, the carry off has been quite uneventful. And, and fairly <coughs> slick time-wise. So now it's back to Kinder Base. Uh, well, our casualty goes off to hospital. We're back to Kinder Base to do a bit of packing, a bit of cleaning, drying, and hopefully a cup of coffee and maybe even a bite of breakfast. <laughs> 